Good afternoon, this is your friend Angel over at Pam Chevrolet in Ocala, Florida. Uh, just experiencing the calm before the storm. As you might know, we are on the path of the storm Ian. And today it's a special video because we're gonna be closed for the rest of the week. Uh, just because we're gonna be waiting for the hurricane, of course, experiencing the hurricane. And then of course we had to clean the mess. So <laughs> here we are making it. this video in English. It's my first video for a truck in English. And this is comes to you courtesy of my daughter Caldini and my son Giovanni who asked me to make them a video in English because they enjoy watching Chevypedia but they don't understand the Spanish yet. They, I'm working on it. So here you are guys. This is a 22 Chevy Silverado custom. Uh, it's worth mentioning all the custom trucks this year are coming out with a 2.7 liter four cylinder engine uh, with a high output uh, which produce, uh, you won't believe this, 310 horsepower and 400 and, uh, excuse me 348 pound feet of torque making it very powerful and capable of towing over 9,000 pounds so, uh, despite the fact that this is a four cylinder truck it is very much capable and it's good in gas I have four co-workers who traded the trucks for the four cylinders some of them are right there you can see them so this this is a, a, a truck that came to stay I thought it was more like an experiment but no here you are <laughs> two years later we're still making it and it's been great everybody loves it everybody had a good experience with it and they all surprised them how, how much power it makes actually uh, for this year you can notice the custom truck now has a little uh, of paint job treatment this is called the red hot color I never had a truck red hot in my channel this is the first time I'm doing one and I figure I picked this color today because it's cloudy and it's not a metallic flake or anything like that. Red heart is very simple, it's just red. Uh, but why, how beautiful it looks. Uh, it's worth mentioning the crew cab trucks. Uh, comes with a uh, short bed, but you can up for the uh, long bed as well. The long bed is six foot and a half. This is the most popular one. The short bed is five foot eight. Uh, custom trucks are very simple. They actually base motor trucks like a war truck but they dress, re, dressed up really nicely, so it looks very, very uh, fancy. Uh, also, we ordered for this one the Dark Essential package, and that includes all the lettering in black. You can see the emblem, Silverado in black. Here it says Custom Black, as well as the front emblem. It's black as well. And you can see the red bumper there. Uh, it also has 20-inch wheels from the factory. All custom trucks, some of the 20s. Uh, but you can opt for this wheel for a little extra and get them all in black and let's call the steps as well uh, this is the new key for the Silverado the shape of it is the same shape of key that you see in a new Corvette or a new Tahoe or a new Suburban these are the new keys going forward so even the keys have changed and even though it's a smart key it's half a smart key I, I explain that in a minute now if I press this button twice I open my tailgate it opens nice and easy this is called the uh, easy lift tailgate. The tailgate says it, it's made out of aluminum, but the rest of the bed, of course, is high strength steel. This is what we call the Dura bed. And you're looking at the long, I mean, the widest bed on the industry. It's actually five inches wider than our next competitor. And it offers tow hooks, uh, excuse me, the tie downs. Uh, you can see there's three of them in each corner. Uh, this gives us 12 tie downs instead of three excuse me four that you get in and only other trucks so you get three on each corner and you can increase the amount of tie downs however the ones in the corner can carry 500 pounds of weight if you add tie downs to those little taps there i think you can add up to 20 of them uh, those are for 250 pounds uh, you also have a 400 watt outlet back here and this is so you can run uh, power tools such as a drill or a saw uh, you have led lights that comes from each corner of the bed and there's two more coming uh, from the spoiler uh, this is the first truck we ever offer uh, with a spoiler and that gives us the chance to include those LED lights there I'm gonna show you how they look let me uh, turn it on to turn it on you just press this button here there we go and now you can see the LED lighting coming off from the spoiler and inside the bed but the lighting doesn't end there notice how easy is this to leave I can leave it with two fingers there's another light here and this is to illuminate the hitch area when you're connecting your hitch there is a, a four pin connector and also a seven pin connector for bigger trailers uh, so at night you can actually illuminate all this area along with those lights uh, you also have a plug here for your spare tire and of course a, two, a, a full size hitch as you said 
Uh, the bumper steps are standard in our trucks. This year they're bigger from 19 and up. Uh, it's double the size that they used to be. And that's great because if you're wearing a steel toe boot, you appreciate to have that. Here's a gas tank. This is, a, I believe, it's a 26 gallon gas tank. Uh, and it had an extra space here for the diesel exhaust fluid. If this was a diesel truck, that's where the diesel exhaust fluid goes. But if you can notice, if you can see, the, uh, there's a self seal gas tank here. Uh, so no longer you have to deal with that nonsense. Uh, the space on the back is huge. This is the largest Silverado we ever made. And I showed this on my Spanish video, so I'm gonna try to do it on this one. But first, I'm gonna check the charge lock because <laughs> You can walk inside of this truck from one side to the other. Allow me to demonstrate. Let me go here. We're gonna walk inside of the truck. See, I'm standing. I'm not that small, you know, I'm like five foot ten, five foot eleven, depending on the shoes. <laughs> but yeah, I just walk across the truck <laughs> from one side to the other. I don't think you can you guys can say you walk inside of your truck. Uh, but I did it. <laughs> and you can add a uh, toolbox over here you can see your jack here your tools for your jack very easy to operate 60 40 split it's the first silverado to have ac vents on the back and that's the case even with the custom truck which is a uh, as i mentioned before a very basic truck so let me walk around here and show you what's going on on the front as always i like to show you the truck uh, so when you look at the grill for example the grill looks like it's one grill, but it's actually two grills. There's one here with a Chevrolet emblem on it, or Chevrolet name, I should say. And you can see there's another one inside that open and close itself. That's what we call an active shutter. Uh, so these shutters will close at 30 miles an hour to cut the wind better. They will close if it's too cold, and they will open if it's too hot. So it helps the engine warm up or cool down a lot faster, along with operating the AC more efficient. Uh, and it helps with the aerodynamics. You can see that this double head, headlight assembly, this is for the low beam, high beam. There is an opening here and it's completely functional. The air flows through here and gets out for this opening. And you can see the mirrors too have been disconnected from the A pillar. Now they lower on the door so that helps with the wind flow. I'm gonna show you what's under the hood of this thing. It's kind of amazing. And then we go to the interior, which is, it's very nice for a, a very, basic truck but here is the one and only 2.7 liter turbo four cylinder man it's crazy uh, like i say it produced 310 horsepower and 348 pound feet of torque on this high output engine we're going to be using this engine in other trucks such as the colorado pretty soon and they've been using it in other vehicles for many years such as cadillac ats etc so uh, it's not new for general motor but it's fairly new for trucks uh and it's been a blessing, like I said. Uh, you can see the coolant of the anti-freeze is red, and this helps because it's an anti, uh, anti-freeze that is it's a heavy-duty anti-freeze. It doesn't require flushing for 150,000 miles. So that's no exception with the four and there all our trucks use the heavy-duty, the good stuff. You can see the windshield washer fluid there. Uh, for the battery, we have a positive here, negative right here. If you need to jump start, you just slide this out, and there's your positive plug super easy to operate if you're in that situation there is a heat shield on the hood as well to make it quiet one of the things that everybody loves when they watch my videos is the show of course here's the key again now if you notice no longer you have to hit the lock button and then hold the start button you can just remote start this truck from here by tapping this button twice pressing it twice as you said and there it is it took a little longer to start this time but it did start it <laughs> And here is your uh, tow hooks. And this is how it sounds. <laughs> it's incredible. It's, you look at a big truck like this, and then when you start it, it's like, what? What's going on here? Where's the rest of the noise? <laughs> yeah, you can hear that turbo going too. Now, ironically, even though this is a smart key, it doesn't have the button. It does have the button on the LT motors and above, but the work trucks or custom trucks in this case, you have to physically hit the button on the key fob open your door there's a keyhole of course in here in case your key fob doesn't work you can just use that uh, but being a basic truck doesn't mean that doesn't have some amenities for example the door has two cup holders in the middle there's two cup holders on the center console there's two cup holders on the door so you got four cup holders excuse me let's see six cup holders just in the front seats alone remember the brake pillar that was here is gone now we have a switch 
that says P for the parking brake. So if I hit that button, listen to this. That thing that sounds like a robot is actually your parking brake getting engaged. And you can turn it off whenever you like. That's no problem. Uh, another cool thing about it, you can uh, start the truck, but it doesn't mean it's running. So the AC is cooling down the truck and nobody can drive it without the key. You have to physically get in the truck, press the button, and then you're good to go. Power seat on the Custom is, is an option. Uh, this one has the package, I believe it's called the convenience package, and it includes the cruise control as well. Uh, and another cool feature about this is the forward collision alert is standard in all uh, custom trucks. So now that we see here, it did kind of give us a welcome here with the Chevy logo flipping in there. There we go. And now to start it, we're going to hit the brake pedal, hit the start button, and we're good to go. Everything now operates here. You can see the heads-up display coming on. And this heads-up display, let me uh, mute the radio here for a second. It shows up. Just those lights that you saw on the windshield reflects if you're approaching a car too fast. And you can adjust the gap or distance you like to keep in between vehicles right here. It's good to keep it on the middle so it's not too sensitive. Let me lower the AC so you can hear me a little bit better. Uh, but this is very, very basic truck. You can see the uh, cruise control buttons here. There is an Intelli beam headlight, the standard equipment. Here's your operation for your cargo lights. So you can turn it off and turn it on if you want. Uh, you also have automatic headlights. They come on by and serve. You don't have to switch anything. And if you shut it off, it goes back to auto. So you never find yourself driving down the road with no headlights. Like I see every day in foreign cars. <laughs> you guys know who you are. <laughs> There's also a lane departure warning, uh, which is part of that system with the camera on the windshield. There's also a button to open your tailgate. This is for auto stop. If you want to disable auto stop, you can. There's traction control, emergency lights, and tow hole mode. There's also a 110 outlet. You can see a USB-C and USB-A. If you wonder what the space is for, that's where the trailer brake controller goes. If you want to install one, we send them here at the parts department. And it comes you can order it from the factory with it to us it's very simple now if you look at the radio screen this is our seven inch display uh, but it has some goodies for example you can activate the camera at sitting still or even in motion uh, so you can check what's behind you if you uh, have a trailer or something now if you're gonna uh, park the truck you can see those lights follow you when you turn the steering wheel so you are now moving the steering wheel to show you and if you're gonna connect a trailer you can just uh, use the line and that connects to your hitch. You can see where your hitch is. So it's very easy and convenient to uh, connect your trailer on the Silverado uh, with the camera system. And this is just the basic camera system. We have one much more advanced with 15 different angles. Uh, but despite the fact of being a basic truck, you can enjoy Wi-Fi on your truck. Up to seven devices can be connected within 50 feet around the truck. It's not free. You can, and you can get the first month for free when you sign up with OnStar. And after that, you can choose a plan that starts at twenty or fifteen dollars a month uh, for three gigs a month. And there's another one for I believe twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars for unlimited data, and, and you don't have a contract, so you can activate it one month and deactivate it the next one. If you want to use it for a camping, long trip, etc., you can just sign up for it and then shut it off. And, it's, and you also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can use your maps. It lets you use Google Maps, Apple Maps, and Waze. They all display on the screen very nicely. Uh, aside from that, you have navigation through OnStar. Uh, you get the first month for free, of course, when you sign up with OnStar, or three months, depending how you set it up. Uh, if you hit the audio button, there's FM radio, there's AM radio, there's XM radio for uh, satellite radio. You can see the stations up here. If I change it, it will go here to uh, classic vinyl. Uh, another cool feature, you have Bluetooth audio, so it would allow you to connect your cell phone paired up with the truck, and that way, you can listen to the music from your phone without having to be connected. But if you connect to the USB port, not only are you charging your phone, you will display the image of your phone on the radio. Uh, now, as far as the transmission, this vehicle has an eight-speed transmission. It allows you to select how many gears you want. So if I put this big shifter down, this is old school right here. We made him down with a shifter in the middle. Uh, but this is the old school uh, shift column, very popular. <laughs> you can see it says L1 right there. And I can tap up here and it says plus all the way where it says uh, 8. Right now I'm in L3, 4. If you look in here, you can see it where I'm changing it. Uh, so I'm going to keep going up. Gear 5, 6, 7, 8. So we got 8 gears in total uh, for the transmission. Now, the camera comes automatically when you put it in reverse. 
and of course it stay on for a little bit but then disappear after a while when you put it in park or drive uh, you have ac controller this is our single climate system uh, we also have a nice center console this one right here opens it used to not open i'm glad they fixed that because it was ridiculous to make a console that doesn't open so now they all do and as you can see it offers a lot of storage space and you can put a little tray here they sell business card holders etc uh, but the best part is you got two cup holders but you actually have boom another seat so now you can have your wifey or your hubby <laughs> or your dog sitting right next to you <laughs> and that makes a big difference having a bench seat on a truck for those long trips you can get covered here and, and you know get warm you can open this stuff and this is a lock box so you can actually lock it with the key there's a key hole in there same thing happened with this glove box you got one glove box at the bottom one glove box at the top and the one at the bottom locked with the key so you can just lock it right there it used to be the opposite you could lock the one on the top not the one on the bottom so i'm glad they changed that <laughs> Because it's more useful to have the big, uh, what you call it, the big glove box opening. Now, to close this, many people can't figure out how to do it. And it's because it's kind of hidden. You gotta pull this loop here, and that's what release the heat, the seat, excuse me. There we go, and I, <laughs> sorry for the noise, but that's how you get it released. This is a, it's a truck, you have to manhandle stuff. <laughs> Here's your on start button. Uh, this is for on-start voice commands, on-start services, and this is for emergencies. Uh, you can also see there's LED lights everywhere. And if you wonder what are those two holes in the roof, uh, it is it, it is available with the sunroof, but those two holes are there for cowboy hats. So if you're wearing a cowboy hat in your Silverado, you don't have to take it off. You can just sit on it with your cowboy hat on. And that, of course, makes the cowboys very happy. <laughs> Let me show you what's on the other side here. And then we're going with the window sticker. Oh, by the way, let me uh, show you here what the horn is. And here's uh, how it sounds when you accelerate this beast. What? <laughs> it's so quiet. <laughs> it's so cool when you hear that turbo going. Vee, vee, vee. You know, it kind of sounds like a diesel almost. I love it. Let me turn on these headlights to show you how they look when they're on. And then we go to the window sticker. Yeah, one thing about the new headlights, they have the Chevy emblem right there in the corner. It looks really nice. And you can see the headlight as well. Inside of the headlight, you can see the Chevy emblem right there on the, on the tip of the light bulb. Looks super cool. Attention to details, my friend. You also have black tow hooks in there. In case you need to tow somebody out, you can. It's a truck. <laughs> so you can do a lot of things. Let me show you what the passenger side looks like. And now the passenger side on the custom is not available with power seats, so it is strictly a manual seat. And you can move the recliner here, you can slide the seat right here with this handle. Super easy to do, you can do it with one hand. Uh, so that's not a, a deal breaker, <laughs> but for some people it is. So you can opt for the LT and RST and all motors, they will have the availability of having power seat on both sides, and then both seats will go up and down. And there it is. Let me show you. Uh, how it looks like in the back with the headlights on very nice i like those new lines they put in in the tail lights i don't know if you noticed that just to make it a little different from the old models which i know old oh, really they all just came out but here's something interesting i want to show you all our trucks come with the trailer information right here and it will show you what it can carry with a conventional trailer you can see right there 9,200 pounds, as much as the V8. The V8 is 9,500 if it was a two-wheel drive, but gooseneck is 9,100 because the gooseneck weighs more. Here's your payload, it's 1,800 pounds. This is a 1,500 truck. It can carry almost 2,000 pounds of payload, and it weighs about 5,000 pounds. It's a very heavy truck that can carry a lot of weight. I, I think it can carry more weight than the truck itself, <laughs> and that's pretty amazing. I think most trucks do, though. So here's your window sticker. First thing we're gonna discuss, your gas mileage, which is pretty good. 20 miles per gallon combined, 19 on the city, 22 highway. I got customers telling me, and friends and co-workers, they get on the mid-20s on the highway, depending how you're driving it, really. Uh, here's a description, it's a 22. See, but I don't see if I can focus here. I'm losing the, <laughs> oh my goodness, so hard. But yes, yeah, 22 Silverado, uh, 1500 crew cap custom. The exterior color is red hot. 
And of course, it's a jet black interior. Man, it's so hard to focus on this. All right, there we go. <laughs> Red hot and jet black. I have to climb up here <laughs> to show you. But here is the description of the package itself. Uh, the base price is $43.9 for this truck. $795 for the, uh, it's called the Black Essential. Uh, the Black Tubular Step, excuse me. Uh, you have the Chevy Spray On Bed Liner called the Durabet, $545. The Dark Essentials Package, $450. We have the Auto Locking Rear Differential, very important for a truck. $395 for that. My goodness, so hard to see. There we go. <laughs> So we had a, a total options of $2,110 and then you have a discount, it's called the custom package discount from the factory, they give you a $1,500 off just for having that engine. And we come to the total of $46,305 for this truck or basically the price of a Camry. Uh, there's a lot of Camrys and Honda Accord out there, <laughs> I'm sorry for you owners, <laughs> I mean, but I'd rather have this than a very luxurious Camry, you know. You can do stuff with this, you know. You can carry stuff, solve problems. This is a problem solver. And here you have it, my friend. I hope you like my video. Uh, sorry for the accent. I'm still working on it. It's been 12 years since I'm here in the United States. But please pray for us. We're going to be waiting on this uh, environment here. It's already uh, getting cloudy. Uh, but this storm supposed to be a big hit to Tampa. So uh, please stay safe. And of course, I hope you spending a good weekend and you don't lose the power so you can watch my video <laughs> at least god bless you guys don't forget to give the like button and subscribe it's completely free the description for this truck and other models is below the video i always leave my information my contact information on the description uh, feel free to call me if you have any questions or concerns anything you need i'll be here for you waiting for this storm we're gonna be close uh tomorrow all the way to saturday uh, waiting for this storm so this will be my last video before the storm, and hopefully we get some palm trees when I come back <laughs> on Saturday. Ah, all right, my friend. Have a good day. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.